Hello everyone, this is Dr. Nathan Yashas from Treat by Alter Doctors and we are here today to present you a very special segment called Watchdog. Now Watchdog is going to be a segment which is going to look at the latest medical advances, the latest research papers, try to break it down and to give you some insights and better clarity. And today we are going to discuss about what has been termed as a potential breakthrough in the dexamethasone. So does dexamethasone cure? or does it control corona infection? Now we know that dexamethasone is a steroid which has been used since ages as an anti-inflammatory. It has been used to treat a variety of autoimmune diseases. It has also been used in certain cancers. And hence the properties of dexamethasone, such as its anti-inflammatory property and role in immunomodulation, perhaps plays a role in the control of cytokine storm leading to its benefit in corona infection. Now, the recovery trial investigators reported the preliminary findings of dexamethasone. So what exactly is the recovery trial? Now the recovery trial is a large randomized controlled trial of possible treatment options for patients admitted to hospitals with COVID-19. Around 11,500 patients have been randomized to multiple treatment arms. Now these treatment arms consist of various drug combinations such as lopinavir, ritonavir, low-dose dexamethasone, HCQS, tocilizumab and convalescent plasma. So now they release their preliminary data regarding comparing those patients who received dexamethasone versus those who did not. So essentially the patients were randomized, around 4,321 patients were randomized to usual standard of care and around 2,104 patients were randomized to receive dexamethasone 6 mg once per day either by mouth or by IV injection for 10 days. So when we looked at the 28 day mortality in the control arm, that is the arm that did not receive dexamethasone, we saw a huge 41% 28 day mortality in those who required ventilation. It was 25% in those who required only oxygen and it was the lowest at 13% who did not require any sort of respiratory intervention. Now we do not know what other treatment uh, these, this arm was on, on whether they were on any other treatment or were there any other confounding factors. But what is going to be interesting to see now is how did dexamethasone influence the 28 day mortality as compared to the control arm. So when we see in the dexamethasone arm, we are seeing that those who required ventilation, dexamethasone reduced deaths by almost one third. Now this translates to a mortality rate of 27% of those receiving dexa. Look at the numbers here, 41% mortality rate in those who required ventilation and did not receive dexamethasone as compared to 27% in those who received dexa. Now this magnitude of benefits started coming down when you started looking at the subset of patients who required only oxygen. Dexamethasone reduced deaths by one-fifth in this group, which translates to a mortality rate of 20% in those on DEXA, coming down from 25% in those who did not receive DEXA. And finally, in that subset of patients who did not require any respiratory support or intervention, there was no benefit of giving dexamethasone. So very clearly we can see here that dexamethasone is giving you a survival advantage in a very select group of high risk patients with the greatest magnitude being among ventilated patients and of some benefit being in those who are receiving oxygen alone. There is no talk here of dexamethasone curing corona. There is no talk of dexamethasone impacting viral clearance. This paper is clearly about looking at dexamethasone on whether it can give you a survival advantage and if yes, in which group of patients. Now, now, overall, also the investigators noted that in the overall population, dexamethasone reduced the 28-day mortality rate. But again, I assume that this benefit being seen in the overall population is largely being driven by the data set of patients on ventilator who derive the maximum magnitude of benefit. Very important that as healthcare professionals, we do not jump to dramatic conclusions and we sort of try to look for more literature. This is especially true with regard to the recent fiasco we have seen where reputed journals are retracting papers. Therefore, I would like to draw your attention to a meta-analysis. Now, this meta-analysis was published on the 5th of May this year, which looked at the impact of steroid therapy on patients with SARS and MERS. What is a meta-analysis? A meta-analysis essentially combines multiple studies and if the treatment effect is consistent across multiple studies, then the meta-analysis can be used to identify that effect. Now, this meta-analysis clearly showed that in patients with SARS and MERS, steroid used delayed virus clearing, 
did not reduce the risk of death and was not associated with use of mechanical ventilation. So let's also keep this perspective in mind when trying to interpret the results of the recovery trial. We also need more clarity on when is the timing of steroid initiation in corona going to be beneficial. Is it early versus delayed? Because we really need to capture that time point when usage of dexamethasone would probably immunomodulate and reduce the cytokine storm for it to be more beneficial. Therefore, the take home message is dexamethasone is not a cure for corona. It has shown survival benefit in a select group of high risk patients only in the recovery trial. Very important that we start looking at data from our country or our institution and see what effect a treatment is having and very important as healthcare professionals for us to read as much literature as possible and make informed rational decisions. So very clearly we should not treat all patients affected with COVID-19 with dexamethasone because the benefit is being seen only in a select subset of patients. We know that dexamethasone is associated with some of the classical side effects of steroids. Therefore, to the general public, please do not start popping steroid pills thinking it will save you from corona nor use it to treat yourself if you have symptoms of cold or cough. And my appeal to the media, please do not use clickbait headlines. Please let us all be responsible in disseminating data and information in these trying times. I hope you enjoyed this presentation from Treat by Alter Doctors. If you like this video, you can subscribe to our channel Treat, the online channel for doctors on YouTube. You can also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash treat for doctors. And you can also visit our website www.alterdoctor.in. Until next time, this is your host Dr. Nathanishas saying goodbye. Thank you.